Hello everyone! This is Pogs to Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we are going to show you a very useful sewing technique. We are going to show you how to edge the scarves with the cords by hands. We couldn't find a cord of the needed size, so we are going to show you what to do in this case. This is also a very useful technique. This is a roll of the cheapest bias binding. Cut the detail of the needed length and rip up the seam. Now I can pull the cord out of the binding. As I've already said, you need to make it as long as you need. Next, I need to undo the cord. Notice that it consists of the three smaller details. Separate them from each other. Here they are. These are the three cords which can be used for edging the scarf. These ones are short. You should make them as long as you need. The one I'm holding now is of the needed length. We're going to show you the only way for edging the silk scarves for them to look exquisite. This is not a mock-up. This is the scarf we made for Ola. Next, we're going to show you what to do. The first thing we need to do is to cut a small piece of the salvage. Watch what Natalie is doing. The cut piece is about 10 cm long. The silk fabrics fall apart easily. Natalie, show us what I'm talking about, please. This is what I mean. This is why we need to cut a short piece, edge it, and then cut the next one. This is the only way to edge the scarf accurately. The technique we are showing you is pretty complicated. Be very attentive, please. Have a close look here. Place the cord about 4 or 5 mm away from the edge. Cover the cord and fix it inside with a couple of stitches. We fixed the edge of the cord. Watch what Natalie is doing next. We've already covered the cord with the fabric once. We need to do it one more time. Make sure that the needle goes under the cord and then make a stitch this way. Watch the way Natalie is working. Make sure that the needle goes onto the cord and then make a stitch. It should be done for the edge to be hidden inside the seam. The cord should be covered with the fabric really tight. Make tiny accurate stitches. Have a very close look here. This is where the thread comes out of the cord. Natalie makes a tiny stitch here and then pulls the needle through the cord. The stitches should be biased. Now you know how it should be done. Please be very attentive. As I've already said, find a point where the thread comes out of the cord, make a tiny stitch besides it, 
and then pull the needle through the cord. It takes a lot of time and hard work to edge the scarves this way. The result is worth it. Don't worry, practice makes perfect. Notice that Natalie stretches the piece she is working with. Always use strong, thin threads for edging the scarves. The thinner the threads are, the better. Have a look at the one we are working with. I remind you that we are edging the silk scarf. The edges should be strong and beautiful. This is why the cord should be covered with the fabric twice. Make tiny, accurate stitches. Once you pull a thread out of the cord, make a new stitch right next to this one. As I've already said, the stitches should be tiny. Watch the way Natalie is working. Be very attentive. Ladies, it's very important that both the threads and the needles should be very thin. The distance between the stitches should be not bigger than 7 mm. It's also very important for the details not to be loose when being stitched. Have a close look at what Natalie is doing. Make a tiny stitch here, then pull the thread under the cord and through it. By doing so, we make strong, accurate edges. When you finish teaching the cut detail, cut the next piece of salvage. This is the only way for edging the details accurately. Most of the silk fabrics are not strong, and their edges fall apart easily. Let's continue working. We are going to stitch and iron the edges of the camera. If you find a cord of the needed size, you'll be very lucky. If you don't, you can use the technique which we showed you. There are several important rules for edging the silk scarves. Both the thread and the needle should be thin. The fabric should be stretched, and the stitches should be strong and tiny. Next, we are going to stitch and iron the edge of the camera to show you how it should look like. You need to be very patient to edge the scarves this way. I recommend trying edging the mock-ups this way first. When you are absolutely sure that you know what to do, you can move on to working with the actual garments. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. We're Ira and Natalie. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.